Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Nomad Survival. Key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. Appreciate you, bud. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to get a, one of my thoughts out right away as we start this. Um, is this a vampire survivor's clone? Is this another kind of vampire survivors-ish game? Yes. Um, we're we're going <laughs> to... We're gonna talk a little bit about it. Um, actually, let me let me as I as is the norm, turn down uh, the volume after I start recording. So I've already played a game of this, and I liked it very much. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I want to say uh, right away, a piercing ray which slowly rotates before disappearing. Amount un unmodifiable. Um. I want to say right away, I won my first run, and I th that I just want to like, I guess talk about two things with that one. Okay, um, first you can win in this game, like it has a solid ending. You can see the goal at the top is 30 minutes. Um, that seems like a long time to play a single run, um, but I think you will have a good time playing for for 30 minutes. This is another one of these kind of games, arcadey kind of progression based games where. You're gonna snowball out of control. You're gonna have a pretty good time. You're gonna have. Uh, you're gonna pick some interesting power ups. Things are gonna synergize in a fun and and, and satisfying way, and uh, and that's really all all it is. Um, but there's a, there's a couple of key differences ish. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it. There's a, there's a couple of differences between this and say Vampire Survivor. Uh, I guess I wanna like. Um, Come to the... Wait, prevent a random enemy from moving or shooting projectiles. I don't really like any of these. I guess I'll take extra defense. Um, I want to, um, like, address an idea of, like, if you already have vampire survivors, should you get this game? You know, I think that ultimately that's why a few people are going to um, probably look at a video like this. Um, they're gonna try and get an idea or an impression of like, well, this looks cool, but it does just kind of look like Vampire Survivors again. Is it good in its own way? Yeah, I think it is, actually. I think it is. Like, it's not necessarily doing too much differently, but it has some different powers. It's got some quality of life features. Um, it's got an ending, and it's a game you can, you can play, um, alongside Vampire Survivors, or instead of, if you want. Um, and it offers a little bit of variety, variety from it, um, in, the, in you know, in, in a number of ways. But they're they're subtle, they're subtle ways. I'll be honest. Like this game does feel very, very inspired uh, or influenced by um, vampire survivors. And I've always, I've often said before, I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with a game taking influence from uh, another game. So long as it does a, a couple of things differently. Now this this game is doing some subtle things differently, um, but it is still it's still good in its own way. Um, throw a massive sword in the direction you're facing, which pierces all enemies. Sure, actually I like I like uh, colorless glyph. Um, first off, there's a lot of power ups in this game. There's a ton of powers and I mean some of them are gonna feel diff similar in fact the one I currently uh, started with with this character definitely feels like garlic um, from vampire survivors so yeah there's there's definitely some uh, powers which feel <coughs> you know uh, influenced but um, then there's there's a ton of other powers that don't feel necessarily like uh, like they're they're you know pulled right from other games uh, um, uh, you know, duplication is actually really good. Um, oh, I don't know if I'm going to survive this, if I'm being honest. Um, and also, I think a key difference with this game is that you can take, you can, you can get a lot of abilities in this. Like, a crazy number. Like, there are a lot of power-ups in this game, and you can get a lot more of them just in a run. Um, I think in Vampire Survivors, at a certain point, you do kind of like specialize uh, and you're going to get, you know, your run's going to get crazy, but um, at a certain point, you have to kind of choose to take um, like a certain number of, of powers that you've already picked up and you have to focus a little bit. This one, there you can just get a ridiculous number of skills and um, 
Inst plus one percent instant kill chance. It's kind of interesting. I think I want more defense. Um, this one you can just get a ridiculous number of skills. Uh, some of them synergize, a lot of them don't. Um, so they're just like kind of extra chaos on the screen, and I actually kind of enjoy that. I, I end up enjoying that chaos. Like like right now, this chaos is is pretty good. This is some pretty good chaos, you know. If I if I do say so. That beam is actually pretty cool. I didn't even see that beam on my first playthrough. Uh, I saw spectral bows and like roaming summons and stuff like that. Let's, uh, I'm gonna get uh, duplication. I don't actually super know what duplication does, but I'm pretty sure it does duplicate your weapons on the screen. And I'm hoping it kind of duplicates your beam, but I'm not sure if that's the case. So this is actually the le second level. The first one, you're kind of like on an island. Um, and you have a lot of freedom of movement. This one, you're you're far more limited in um, in where you can go. Oh, I should have taken the pickup range. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of a lot of it. Um, I like that this this one has kind of a basically an ending. Like it tells you right away. You're like, yeah, you're good to go. Um, you don't have to. Like you don't, you don't. This is not like an endless arcadey game, um, and I know like a lot of these have an unspoken ending, for sure. I think even Vampire Survivors does, but I, I have, I have never personally seen it because it is, it's a lot of long time. You have to play a level, a, a game to see it. Cause all enemies to wander away. Ineffective on boss enemies. I appreciate that transparency. Be default. By default, you have zero HP regen. Sure, let's take HP regen. HP regen is actually pretty nice. Um, so, you know, I, I guess I just appreciate that, like, this is almost, like, even simpler than Vampire Survivors, but then again, it's also, like, more chaotic. Like, there's just a, a ridiculous amount of, like, stuff going on. And honestly, like, I just take... I took upgrades without even reading them sometimes, because it's kind of like you can kind of turn your brain off and play this game and I say that as a uh, as a positive expansion um, let's take spectral sword upgrade like you can just see like oh what have I already taken uh, I'll go ahead and take like the level two of that and uh, you know like you can make very quick decisions like like right there like I'm like okay well I've already taken duplication twice so I might as well keep taking it um, yeah, you can take a bunch of other upgrades as, as well if you want, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's also nice to double down. So yeah, like, just, um, honestly, like, the sheer variety of things is, is here. Yeah, I don't think you have necessarily, um, the same kind of level of comboing, uh, abilities as you do in, in Vampire Survivors. And yeah, I mean, that it, it would be nice to have that as well. We'll, we'll continue getting duplication. Portal has appeared. Destroy it. Where is that? That's something I haven't seen before. Where, how do I get over there? Oh, I didn't realize that this was a, a big loop. I am going to die, maybe? Oh, God. I need to... I need to regen. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna destroy that. Ooh. We're gonna have to destroy that portal. So maybe you can't turn your brain off in this game. I I almost died because I wasn't paying enough attention. Maybe. Oh 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 no! There was health right there. Oh my god. Bummer. Okay, I didn't realize I was starting a different level. Do these guys all have their own level? Let's try divine. We'll see if they have their own level. Oh, I did tr I did pick a different level, didn't I? Okay, so here's the original one. It's a big old island. You have, like, way more space to move around. What? Okay. All right. This character is very strange. So they're 100% going to be about um, kiting the enemies, and then they just kill everything at once. I'm assuming that's always going to kill, hopefully. Passive 
Enchantment plus 10% damage. Sure. But it has a long cooldown, so you are kind of a sitting duck. I, th I don't think you can take damage when you're channeling it, though, at the very least. Conjure a massive circle. Enemies that walk into it are damaged. I took this, and it wasn't very good, in my opinion. Fire several projectiles towards the nearest enemy. Plus one SP regen per, s per tick. I don't know what SP means, to be honest. But I'll take it. Weapon skill used at 200 SP. Oh, I see. So this increases the um, uh, like amount of uh, using your skill, your, your, your weapon. That's interesting. Um, by the way, I don't know like if, if this is uh, going to make a difference for some people, but if the enemy outlines bothers you, then you can turn it off. I turned it on for, for visibility, so you could, you could see things better. Cause all enemies to wander away. Uh, plus 30% knockback, that's not really going to do it for us. Let's take extra pickup range. So yeah, you can't really take damage when you're channeling that. That's kind of nice. This is an interesting character. Oh, let's see if it kills that boss on the first time. No! Okay, so it does not insta-kill everything. I just got an achievement for killing a thousand rats. Not at once, but like, you know, total. Emitted persistent aura, which damages all enemies that enter it, doesn't knock back. Sure. So that's uh, that's basically garlic. Um, oh, we got we got slimos. So slimos are already resisting my basic attack. That is unfortunate. Passive expansion plus ten percent size. Does that mean our we are bigger? I think so. So yeah, like there are certain, some abilities that are, they do feel like they're just pulled directly out of uh, other games, but then um, they, you know, th there's a bunch of extra abilities and stuff that, you know, thrown in here just to just to add to the chaos. And I, I do appreciate that. I think that makes it uh, stand on its own two feet as it, as it was. Damage an enemy, which ch bounces to others. Skill amount, modify, modifier increases. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is something that I have to fire. It's something that happens naturally. Okay. Good. We could use some an extra attack besides the one that we currently use. That, it's going to be a real bummer when I'm surrounded by enemies and that move does not kill any of them. Like, maybe right now? Oh no, that, that worked. Um, passive Hourglass, plus 10% duration. Interesting, I'm not sure what it means by that. Throw a projectile at a random enemy, which then bounces at a random, a ra a random direction two times. Let's take duration. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to take it. That lightning's nice. Sound effects are pretty satisfying as well in this game. Pearl and explosion, plus 10% experience gain. Let's take that. Ooh, that was nice. A nice chunk of XP. Okay, we're coming up to our next level. Uh, sure, let's just increase the amount of experience gained. That's fine. Oh, we're getting attacked by kobolds now. We could uh, definitely stand to increase our running speed. Nice, that guy did die. That is very good. Oh. Took our first damage. Knockback. 5% chance for slain enemies to explode on death, damaging all nearby enemies. Eh. Um, wave of powerful energy sweep the area, damaging enemies. Sure. We haven't been seeing too many, like, upgrade levels. Whoa. That uh, wave is a lot more surprising than I thought.
I didn't expect it to come out of from the side of the screen. I thought we were going to emit it ourselves. Um, all percentage boosts stack additively. Plus 25% pickup range. Plus one pickup range. Okay, sure. We'll take extra pickup range. Why not? So yeah, you better hope that that thing, that your move kills the, you know, everything. Because if it doesn't, they're going to be right on you and they're going to be hitting you. We've almost leveled up again. Uh, wow, we're, we're like straight up just not getting any level ups. Occasionally increase your stats for a period of time plus five defense. Prevent a random enemy now. Let's take magic missiles. Negative character size plus evasion plus one number of missiles. All right, there's our first level up. Let's get more magic missiles. A crystallized chest has appeared. So these things are uh, basically an opportunity to force the player to try and get to a specific area. Um, so you can't just like basically, you know, hang out where you are. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta move around. You gotta do do something different for a little bit. And uh, so these these chests are like super tanky. Like I have like hung out and tried to uh, you know continued attacking them for a long time. It feels like two two or three minutes sometimes. Sometimes they um, take so long to destroy that another one will appear on the screen. Uh, while you're busy trying to attack it, I don't want to miss out on this XP. Okay. It's also, usually it spawns like very far away from you. Plus 10% damage. Nice. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to continue moving towards the crystal chest. It takes, it takes a while to get there. They are worth it though. We're gonna we're gonna see. It's I mean it's similar again to uh, other games, but uh, it is a little bit different. You have a bit more options maybe than in uh, Vampire Survivors. All right, so we're gonna have to spend a bit of time destroying this thing. Especially since we don't really have a lot of damage output. We've got like a lot of, we've got a nuking ability, but that's not really going to do much to just, you know, break the crystal. Um, extra damage. Well, that that's nice. We're going to want to use our garlic ability to do most of the, the heavy lifting, I think. Wouldn't mind picking up that XP. There we go. Magic Missiles is also doing a bit of work as well. More movement speed, extra kill chance, uh, critical damage. I'm not a huge fan of critical, critical damage, but uh, I'm going to take it because there's really we're not getting a lot of abilities right now that give us more damage output. Oh, we've got our first boss. So this guy is going to be throwing spears at us. And I do appreciate, actually, the um, transparency of, like what you know what is about to happen i was a little confused at first but um it was pretty clear to me after a while like oh he's throwing spears and i that line is to kind of indicate that let's upgrade our chain lightning that's doing a lot more right away let's get our first chest um okay so more magic missiles pierce one plus one a size doubled or um, special ability, cast an unmodifiable skill from the slain boss. Let's take that. 
And then we get to pick one of these invocations. So one just levels up, levels us up right away. One get, lets us re-roll um, level ups, and one recovers our health. Uh, we'll get others lately, later. I actually didn't notice that the first time. I'm gonna take re-rolls. I never tend to dabble with re-rolls, but I wanna, I wanna dabble with it a little bit right now. Still want to continue working on this chest. So we got to we get to throw spears now, like the uh, like the boss was at us. There we go. We finally broke down the crystal. Um, base damage plus one, speed doubled. This is the great divider or magic missiles. Let's take magic missiles. Oh, and we get a second one this time. Plus twenty percent chance to drop a big bolt. Rotation speed doubled on the infernal ray. Well, let's take uh, lightning strike since we we're actually using that. And we'll just do an instant level up. So we can start rerolling if we want. We actually have 48 rerolls. Uh, I'll take plus 10% damage. I think that that's just a safe choice. That lightning is doing a lot of heavy lifting for us, which is good. Our main ability is actually becoming more of a detriment than, than helpful. Okay, the dark, a dark shroud approaches we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about this oh god um infernal ray see i don't like any of these let's re-roll um extra experience nah skill size plus 15 percent plus bit one base damage sure Oh, that's that's not killing anyone yet anymore. Okay, can we level up again? That would be nice. Um, pick up range. Throw a projectile at an enemy. Watch. Um, let's take better pick up range. Get some more XP. Even 60 damage on that, and it's still not killing things. Ooh, there's a nice chunk of XP. Skill size. Sure. Now nah, let's let's do plus ten percent damage. I think that's just always going to be a safe bet. We'll start to do some ridiculous damage, and maybe it'll also improve our uh, base attack. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about this shade. Um, this happens every five minutes. It basically, the things alternate between, uh, you know, day and night every five minutes. And I understand the point of this, um, which is to say I theorize that the reason that we have it, um, let's, let's take the SP is to show off a little bit of the dynamic lighting in this game, which is admittedly pretty nice. Um, however, I don't know how I feel about the shade. We'll continue taking SP, because that'll make us do our attacks more. Um, I don't think it really adds much to the game. Like, it doesn't really make you uh, change your tactics at all. Um, it doesn't really challenge you much. So it just kind of comes across as a little bit annoying. Um, like, I, you know, I, I, don't th I don't feel like I have to change anything. Skill size. Yeah, let's do extra skill size. Um, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, sure, you can't see enemies instantly. Like, they, you know, I can't see them at the edge of the screen. But the way that enemies appear is kind of completely random. It, there's a little bit of... Uh, you know, insight there, but mostly it's just they, you know, they appear where wherever, and I don't really plan around that. So I don't think that like the darkness really does much to change or, or impact my strategy. Um, so I don't know if this really adds much to the game. It does, you know, make it so that you have, you know, you get to see some cool dynamic lighting around some of your spells, like magic missile there, for instance. Um, but I think I'd rather just, you know, kind of be able to see, like, 
the whole screen. And I know that sounds like, oh, oh, it sounds like it is challenging. I'm like, no, I mean, not really. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it just doesn't, I don't think it adds anything necessarily. If there was like a, maybe different enemies that spawned at night, which I know we are seeing some different enemies, but they don't really act differently, right? Their behavior is basically the same. Um, then maybe, or maybe like if we had some of the, some of the um, challenges in Vampire Survivor where it's like, okay, here's a bunch of enemies that are going to like form a circle around you and you have to kind of work around that. Um, or here are a bunch of enemies that are going to create a labyrinth. That would actually be kind of cool if like if it was nighttime and you had to deal with like this labyrinth of enemies that didn't even like move towards you just the whole labyrinth kind of moved across the screen and you had to navigate it something like that the darkness might mean something a bit more um but as it stands right now i don't i don't think it really adds much i just like kind of wish i could see the whole screen i don't know it does something funky with my eyes the darkness begins to fade i guess it's maybe not the full five minutes has it been five minutes already? Hard to tell. I'm just gonna continue attacking this chest. We are doing really nice damage for this stage in the game. Extra chain lightning. Also, I don't know if this makes a difference for anyone, but you can turn off, where is it? I didn't pick up sound effects off. Um, I kind of appreciate those that level of uh, options and accessibility. It definitely, after a while, you're gonna get tired of hearing blink, 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 blink. Um, let's do uh, let's continue doubling down on stamina potion. I have to assume that is decreasing the cooldown on our main ability. Which is actually doing some pretty good damage now that I've taken that uh, extra damage ability like three times. Now nah, let's uh, let's re-roll these. Let's re-roll these. Let's re-roll these. Extra damage. There it is. Continue doubling down on extra damage. Oof! That did a little bit of damage. Hey, we got rid of the crystal. Okay, let's let's see what we got. Um, immaterial cloak. I think we. I want the fireball. I might have re-rolled those actually. I'll take instantly level up. I'll re-roll these. Sure, we'll take skill size. That's going to increase our garlic ability. I'm pretty sure. We're getting we're getting harassed by slimos. Okay. So we're not doing a great job of killing everything anymore. Could uh, increase our pickup range. I'm gonna not do that. I think we want to double down on. Yeah, plus fifty percent skill size. There we go. Yeah, like I said, we're, we're going to get into a little bit of trouble when we're surrounded by enemies. We can't do anything, and then our attack doesn't actually kill anything. Oh, okay. Plus 10% experience gain. Sure, let's, let's double down on a bad mistake. Oh, here's our Slimo boss. Slimo boss is going to be a real problem, actually, now that I think about it. Because he's going to do a lot of damage to us, but we're not going to do a lot of damage to him. Oh, God, I told you. I told you that was going to happen. Dang. All right. Well, this was uh, Nomad Survival. I am going to leave it there. Uh, ultimately, I, like, I really like this game. It's also, um, pretty cheap. Let me see here. <laughs> K 
game is three dollars i i mean i appreciate that this feels like a lot of work for three dollars and i mean yeah there's tons of upgrades there's ton of, tons of unlocks new characters and stuff like that um so you will definitely get your money's worth out of this is it worth playing this if you you already have vampire survivors i mean i already answered that question but i think ultimately yes it is absolutely worth playing this one if you're already playing vampire survivals there's enough differences subtle admittedly but there's enough that it, you will feel like you are um you know getting a similar experience so it's like yeah if you want more vampire survivals definitely grab this basically and and you will enjoy it i think plenty to do um, gameplay is fun. The progression and snowballing is, is fun. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.